praise be to God. Hallelujah. It's again a great joy even to meet you through the short time of med meditation. I hope all these meditation are being a blessing to each and every one of you. Welcome to the place where you learn the Bible. Today, I want to share with you a true incident or in other words, a series of true incidents. I remember reading this, this, um, this small story somewhere. I don't remember when because I, because I read it a long time ago. But this one particular a series of incidents, this story uh, had a great impact in my life that I never forgot this story. Uh, so this story or this true incident is not just a, a mere mythical story, but this is a true incident. So this uh, real life incident, it is a series of real life incidents. So this all begins uh, by a Sunday school teacher by the name Edward Kimball. So this Edward Kimball was a Sunday school teacher. So he always went around to different places conducting uh, Sunday classes for small children in his town. So one particular day, he went into a shoe store where he saw a group of boys working and he takes a Sunday class for them. So he, he talks about Christ and he leads them into salvation. In that group, there was this one small boy who accepts Jesus as his personal savior. And the boy whom Edward Kimball led to Christ on that shoe store was D.L. Moody, Dwight L. Moody. We know about D.L. Moody, what a great itinerant preacher he was. He was one of the mightiest preachers and uh, one of the greatest evangelists of his time. So once in British Isle, uh, when D.L. Moody was traveling, he was talking in a very small chapel, which was pastored by a young man by the name Frederick Brotherton Mayer, who is actually commonly famously called as F.B. Mayer. His writings are very powerful. So this D.L. Moody was talking, was preaching in F.B. Mayer's church. So there sermon after sermon, Mayer, as he was listening to um, D.L. Moody's sermon after sermon, he was very much inspired and um, that changed his ministerial life. So one fine day, F.B. Mayer was visiting America and there he was talking in a, in a meeting where, in a crusade basically, where a young man committed his life to God and responded to God's call in, in his life. And that person's name is J. Wilbur Chapman. So Wilbur Chapman goes on to become one of the most effective evangelists of his time. So wherever Wilbur Chapman was preaching, wherever Wilbur Chapman was having his crusades, there was this one volunteer by the name Billy Sunday who was conducting or who was organizing all these Chapman's uh, meetings and ministries. So once Chapman's time was over, Billy Sunday takes over Chapman's evangelistic crusade ministry and he becomes one of the dynamic evangelists of, of, of his time. So Billy Sunday, he goes on to preach and uh, he, he, he became one of the famous evangelists of America during the 19th century and he leads thousands to Christ. And uh, among his many crusades, among his many meetings, there were a group of men who got touched, who were touched by his, uh, by his messages and they come together to form a group called as Christian Men's Club, Christian Men's Club. And one of their main objective of Christian Men's Club is, is to make sure revival takes place in America. So they invite preachers from different places to conduct series of meetings in their town so that young people will be touched and they will commit their life to God. So in one such opportunity, this Christian Men's Club, they organize a meeting and they invite Mordecai Ham, who was another itinerant evangelist, to come and speak in these meetings. Now Mordecai, he comes and preaches and there was this one, one young man who was sitting in the congregation and listening to Mordecai Ham. And this 16 year old, as he sat in the huge crowd, he found each evening the preacher seemed to be shouting and waving his finger at the young man. Night after night, the preacher felt, the, 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 the young man felt, the 16 year old felt, felt the teenage, teenage boy felt as though Mordecai Ham was waving his finger at him. 
and finally on one night he comes forward and he surrenders his life to God and do you want to know who that young man is that is the great Billy Graham himself it all started with with Edward Kimball a Sunday school teacher who leads DL Moody to Christ DL Moody interns affects the ministry of FB Mayer FB Mayer sermons make Wilbur Chapman respond to God's call Wilbur Chapman's ministry affects Billy Sunday Billy Sunday's preaching affects a group of Christians making them form Christian men's club Christian men's club invite Mordecai Ham and Mordecai Ham touched a young man's life who had the greatest impact of a teenage boy by the name Billy Graham Mordecai Ham's preaching that it touched Billy Graham's life who in turn went to all the parts of the world who went all over the world it is said there is not a single country that he had not stepped his foot he has communicated somebody said like this Billy Graham has communicated the gospel to more people than any person in history and it all started with a Sunday school teacher by the name Edward Kimball when Edward Kimball was was leading a small boy to Christ many many centuries before Billy Graham was even born he would have never thought his series of incidents that started with him will one fine day take gospel all over the world millions were affected by the preachings of Billy Graham by the life of Billy Graham it all started with a humble beginning with a humble beginning you know today you might be sowing the seed but there is a harvest that is coming up today when we work and when things doesn't happen we get hurt we feel bad you know but i just want to read you three verses before i close i want to start with zechariah chapter 4 and verse 10 who can despise the day of small things who can despise the small beginnings there is a version which says who dares to despise the day of small beginning job chapter 8 and verse 7 says though thy beginning was small at the later end shall greatly increase though thy beginning was small at thy later end shall greatly increase isaiah chapter 60 and verse 22 the least of you will become a thousand the smallest a mighty nation i am the lord and in its time i will do this swiftly edward kimball a sunday class teacher you know today the, you might be a person who is taking sunday class among children or you might be a pastor who do not who who who, who does not have a very big congregation might be just a few or you might be conducting a youth retreat or no we know this pandemic times covid times churches are almost going through tough times you might think the ministry that i do it has no impact i'll tell you no work of god will ever be without any impact everything has as an impact it might be a single boy by the name dl moody it can be a, it can be a, sim, a simple man by the name wilbur chapman it can be a small town village pastor by the name fb mayer it can be anybody but let me tell you what we saw today maybe after a few generations maybe after many years will give birth to a billy graham which in turn will shake the world edward kimball's small work on a shoe store a small sermon a small story in a shoe store many centuries later the rippling effect brought forth billy graham to the salvation grace of christ jesus and that in turn took gospel to millions in this world whatever you are doing if even if there is nobody to encourage you continue doing whatever you are doing keep doing whatever you are doing there is a mighty harvest coming from the lord of the harvest i hope these words will encourage you i hope this incident will encourage you may god bless you and may god bless every single work that you are doing 
and may God guide us and may God lead us to stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.